Like a honeybee, oh, I don't know how you do it. Something so sweet, now I'm used to it. Yeah, oh, I'm flying with your love. It's where I'm supposed to be. Look at this view, I just knew it. You see me, you have me one message. Yeah. Hey, Pete, it's dad. Hope everything is going well with your uh, new job and apartment. Your mother and I are really proud of you. Call back when you can. For you to come home to me, oh, I don't know how you do it. Something so sweet, now I'm hooked on it. Hey, Tim. It's, uh, it's, it's Peter. Uh, how are you? Dude, long time. No see. What's it been? Six years? I'm doing good. Just adulting. What are you up to these days? Well, you know, just work and other things. Uh, I had a question for you. Um, is, is serving camp still a thing? Oh, heck yeah, man. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Why do you ask? Uh, I... I have some free time this summer, and uh, I was wondering if I could come. That would be awesome. Sign-ups close in a couple weeks, and they still need people. You totally should. But, but I don't really know anyone there. Uh, it's been a while. You know, I'm going to be taking some college students who will be there on a backpacking trip this weekend. You're more than welcome to join us if you want to. Yeah, y yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I definitely want to do that. Great. We'll be leaving Friday at 7 a.m., I'll pick you up. Text me your address. It'll be great to see you, dude. Yeah. Lit. Lit? Never mind. See you then. Bye. Hey, man. You can just put yourself in the back. Okay. Dude, what? He's in the back. The other back. Ah. Peter, this is Connor. Hi. Tim told me about you. Are you excited for camp? Yeah, it's good to be going back. It's been a while. And this is Aaron. So, uh, why well, haven't gone to Surin camp recently? You know, I just haven't had time since I was younger, and I'm more of a gamer slash indoorsy kind of guy. Oh, so you uh, don't go camping at all, do you? Not really. I guess that explains why I brought such a small pack. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really gone camping in a while either. Honestly, only going because of my cousin, but at least I know how to pack correctly. Hey guys, be nice. There's nothing wrong with being in the experience. Peter, I got an extra pack in the back. It's got everything you need. Thanks. Uh, where are we going exactly? <laughs> oh, you really don't pay attention, do you? It's all right, Aaron. I only just invited Peter. We're going up to Willow State Park. Should be a good time. It's a beautiful area, and there's a lot to do. All right. Let's start off with a prayer. Heavenly Father. What the heck? No hats will pray. Show some respect. Guys, knock it off. Sorry. Heavenly Father. Thank you for our time together. Bless this day and give us the opportunity to grow in friendship with one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. You guys all ready? This trip is going to be sweet.
Here you go. Just don't slow us down, nerd. Thanks. All right, guys, let's get started. Plenty of ground to cover before we get to camp tonight. You doing all right, Peter? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Why'd Tim have to drag the human tortoise along? Just slowing us down. He seems all right. Give him a break. I mean, I guess, but I just want camp to be the best it can be. We don't need some nerd messing it up. What do you think would make it awesome? I just want people leaving camp experiencing it the same way I did. It's this special place. I just want them to have fun, you know? I think Peter would be a great asset to making that happen. I guess. One sec. I think we're over here. You guys feeling okay? Or do you want to stop and rest for a second? Or are we good to go set up camp? I'm game to keep going. How far is it? Should just be a couple miles, man. If we get set up now, should be there before dark. A couple miles, just in time. But it's like a maze out here. What if we get in an accident or something? Oh, what? Do you need a wizard to show you the way? Come on, it's not that bad. Oh, oh, man. Oh. What's wrong with you? <laughs> just ran into a spider web. <laughs> Remember the big bug spray? I'm getting eaten alive out here. Guess there's no let's play for camping, huh? Honestly, I forgot mine too. I can't believe this, but so did I. Oh, great. This is our only bug spray. Jeez. I want more. All right, guys, we're almost to our destination. Oh, oh come on, not again. <laughs> <laughs> the spiders must be out to get you. Yeah, you better watch out, Connor. And oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> Look at this view, it reminds me of tubing at serving camp. Yeah, you know, it really reminds me of the kayaking trip. It's almost as beautiful as Friendship Point. Yeah, it is. Probably not as good as the graphics in your video game. All right, well, we're near our campsite, guys. We're gonna head there pretty soon. Tomorrow morning, we'll head back. I thought it'd be fun to end our time together by having s'mores. I don't really like s'mores. You're killing me, Smalls. I don't get it. Have you guys seriously never seen The Sandlot? Why are you referencing old movies? Literally no one cares. Okay. Since you all are going to camp this year, have you guys had any time to think about the camp scripture? 
I don't even know what it is. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may be filled with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. What do you think about that, Aaron? I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? If you trust in God, you get joy and hope. Well, that's part of it, man, but have you read the rest of the chapter? Uh, should have I? Well, I find it helpful when looking at the camp scripture to reference the context in which it was written. In Romans chapter 15, Paul is talking to the Christian church as to how they should relate to the Gentiles through love and understanding. The scripture specifically states that through God and the power of the Holy Spirit, the Gentiles and the Christian church can come to an understanding and love one another. Sure, but why is that important? I believe it's a call not to judge people who act or think differently than you, but to treat them as fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and to love them. So even if we don't see eye to eye, we might not even like each other, we should throw away our petty differences and treat each other with love and understanding. I've never thought about scripture like that. That's awesome. Uh, I guess it's like God gives us the tools to not only forgive others, but also to mend our relationships with others. Yes. In a sense, free will still does come into play, but when you start viewing scripture as more than what is written, you can get a lot out of it. We have a long day ahead of us if we're gonna make it back to the car tomorrow. Let's clean up and hit the sack. Tim, this can only burn? Yeah, go ahead, throw it in. What are you doing? Burn the plates, just like Tim said. That wasn't all you burned. Guys, it's okay, really. I got a map of the area downloaded on my phone. I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to use it, but it looks like we're gonna need it. It's all right. You burned the map, how, how stupid can you be? I mean, I knew you were inexperienced, but I didn't know you are this dumb. Guys, it's all right. I have a map of the area on my phone. I don't know why you brought this charity case along. Aaron, that's enough. Peter didn't do anything to you. Clearly, you weren't listening when I was talking about loving your neighbor, were you? Come on, he's been screwing us up all day. Yeah, he's right. I've been trying to be nice to this nerd all day. Now look what he's done. How does he not know the difference between a paper plate and a map? That's enough out of both of you. You're a dinosaur, Barney. Go back to Jurassic World. Wait, don't you mean Jurassic Park? Oh, whatever. If you're gonna diss me for being old, at least get the decade right. Yeah, you done messed up, A.A. Eh, Ron. What did you just call me? A.A. Eh, eh, Ron. Maybe you shouldn't come to camp at all. You'll just screw it up again with your stupidity. You know what? You're right, Aaron. I am stupid. I'm stupid for everything that I could come to servant camp. I just lost my job. I'm probably gonna get kicked out of my home. And what do I do? I come on this thing. What the heck was I thinking? Oh, dude. All I wanted to do was take a break from my miserable life. You don't have to worry, Aaron. I won't ruin your perfect camp experience. I just want to go home and pretend that this whole weekend never happened. I had no idea. Hey Peter, can we talk? I'm sorry for even calling you, Tim. I, I'm an idiot. You're not an idiot, man. You just made a mistake. I, I don't even know why I thought it was, this was a good idea. I don't even want to go to serving camp, especially not if people like Aaron are there. Man, don't worry about him. Besides, you understand the spirit of camp way better than he does anyways. Hope to see you both there. I don't know, man. I just can't stand him. I, and what I need right now, what I need is a job. Man, I feel you. I've been there myself, but I really do hope you'll consider coming to servant camp. I really believe it's where God wants you to be. Besides, don't worry about those two. They still got a lot of growing up to do. I'll consider it. I, 
I understand that it would be good to take a week or so to, to de-stress. I'll consider it, but that's... Well, I hope you do, man. Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Hey man, sorry about how I treated you. Hope you still come to camp. Thanks. I'll think about it. Either way, Peter, stay in touch, okay? I've been running circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying everything I can, but I ain't got nothing left.